Now let's show you how to use the product search tool. So that's along here, the product search tool. You can also, if you don't want to see the, um, the column here, if you want to make a little bit more room, you can also click this little button up here and it'll kind of just make little icons for you. So we'll just do that for now. So inside the product search, you've got three options here. We're going to talk about the Etsy for uh, searching Etsy using a search phrase. So let's say, for example, we put in the word cooking. We can select the category and you go in here, there's 1105 categories to select from. And of course, you can just start, just start typing and we can find what we want. So say if we want to do kitchen and dining, we can search in that category. You can search the shop location if that is what you want to do. Like say, for example, I just want to look in Canada. You do that, it takes a bit to see and you can just select what you want here. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it as anywhere. You can also do the ship to country. So you have a lot of different options here as well. The minimum and maximum price, the page range. So these are the number of pages to search on Etsy. You can sort by the relevancy, the most recent high and low price. And you can also select to include advertisements. So when you're on Etsy, some of the um, results will actually be, so if we go to Etsy here, so we type in forged, you will see the results. And underneath here, you'll see add by here, add by there. These are ads. So in the results, it does show ads. If you're interested in just seeing, in seeing the ads, you can do that as well. Include ads, ads only, so you can kind of see what other guys are promoting on Etsy. That's kind of cool, but I'm just gonna remove them from now and let's go ahead and search. So this is a very, um, very powerful extractor. What's happening now, it's going in and it found 48 items from the first page and it's extracting an incredible amount of data for each and every product using multiple thread technology. Right now I'm downloading five at a time. You can also change, if you click the settings here, you can select the number of threads you would like to use in the software, which basically is how many products do you want to download at a given time, at once. So that's what that is. I usually like having it around five. It depends on your internet connection. If it becomes a little bit too sluggish, too slow, then I suggest reducing the number of threads. So once we got that, you can see we got an incredible amount of data. Lots and lots of data. Let's go through some of it. You've got the listing ID, so you can go ahead and you can click and go take a look at the product. You have the rank position, the position that it showed up in the search results on Etsy. That's obviously very powerful. You got your title category, the search phrase that we used here, the category or the source. So this source is if you did it from the Etsy shirt search or categories or the main or the manual. There's the price, shipping, price plus shipping, rating of the product, whether or not it was an ad, when it was listed, the number of hearts. I would say hearts is one of the most valuable things because it's a true way of telling how much you know value that product has because people usually don't give a heart unless they purchased it. So that's a very powerful piece of information there. You have the number of reviews for the actual product, the shop name, the section ID that it resides in, how many reviews the shop has, the total reviews, the location, how many sales the shop has in total, the number of years the shop has been in business, whether or not that item was a bestseller, how many are in the basket right now. So that's obviously pretty cool. So you can sort by that. You can see all these have over 20 right now. How much stock is remaining for that product, the tags that the um, user are using. So if you actually you, um, selling on Etsy, you know how important it is to have tags. So you can actually see the tags and you can actually see the duplicate tags. So when you're selling on Etsy, you have these tags at the very bottom of a given product. So if you just type one of the products and you get at the very bottom and you can see all the tags used. But some of these tags are actually just category names. So then you got you got the ability to use 13 tags. And some people will actually use a tag that's the same as one of the um, other category tags. Well, you don't really want to do that, Etsy. It's kind of kind of duplicating a tag where you can take advantage of that extra tag by putting another keyword in there. So this software will actually identify which ones are duplicate. So you can see, okay, these these three products are using aprons as a duplicate tag. So. You can also see the number of tags used. This particular person didn't even use any tags, which is not very smart. And then you also have the description. 
And as with the keyword generator, you have all these quick filters up here. So anything you want, just go ahead and you can quickly filter what you want. Things like that. You can also manually put the filters in here. We'll provide another video that talks more about the filters in general. Another feature that we've integrated into the software is the ability to view images directly inside of this grid. So you click that and you can see the images. This particular technology was really difficult for me to integrate because it would use up all of your RAM if I let all these images load. So the way this works is in this part here, this is called the viewport. So whatever items you can see is called the viewport. So all the items above the viewport and below actually don't have the image. So as you see, as you scroll, or if you go really fast, there's no images, but they load. So sometimes this can be a little bit slow on your computer, but it still gives you an idea of seeing them really quickly if you have a fast internet connection, because these are downloading directly from Etsy as you scroll. You can also make the size of the images a lot bigger. So that's a pretty cool feature. But if you're having a little bit difficulty with this due to internet connection, no problem. Just you have another op two options I've provided that are just awesome. So down at the bottom, you can hit preview. So you can preview this in an HTML table. So if you click that, it goes into a nice convenient table. You can see the images, you can sort the rows, and you can just hover over top and you can see the larger images really quickly. So this gives you another way to browse very fast. You can sort, you can even sort by keyword as well. So pretty cool. Another one you can do if you go preview in the feed format. And this kind of looks like browsing on say Pinterest or Facebook or something like that. So now you got like these card views and you can also sort the top original order, shop sales, reviews, hearts, price, in basket. And you can quickly see all the data you want to see here, bestseller, free shipping. So it's just another way that you can view the actual products. So that's really awesome. Another thing you can do in here is you can analyze certain keywords. So like I was mentioning before, tags are very important as well as keywords within the titles and descriptions. So what we've done here is we've created two analyzer tools. So I wanna just show you how to use it within the product search. And this can be used within the category search and the manual search. But just quickly, if you, let's say for example, you go ahead and select all and you go analyze product tags, it, quickly got all of the product tags and it showed how many times that particular tag occurred in all of the listings. The percentage that they occurred and the average hearts per tag, which gives you a value of that word. How valuable is that word? How many hearts did that product get every time that tag was used? So this information is incredibly powerful when you're marketing on Etsy or actually just doing any research for e-commerce this kind of data is not given anywhere. So this is very, very powerful. And you can also select different um, kind of ranges of products. So let's say, for example, it's unselected all. Let's say you're only interested in products that are less than $20. So now I wanna look at just those tags. So now you can see less than $20. So you can really narrow down whatever you want and analyze those tags. Now you can do the same thing with the product titles. In the product titles, what this does, it looks at the word combinations of all the selected titles. So if you go, I wanna see, look, at three words. These are the three word combinations and how many times they occurred. Of course, we don't have that many uh, selected. So if we just clear out the filters and select all, and now try to analyze the keywords, apron cooking gift, occurred four times in all of those on all those titles so it gives you an idea and also you also get average hearts so another way to really close in on finding those really powerful words to use in your marketing now one thing you can do here as well is you notice this button up here that says more data now what does that mean what more data means is it can go out and extract the information again. Let's say, for example, you saved this data. You can go file and we save this project file and let's just save it here. And say later on and say like a month or something like that, you want to go back and recheck those, those products. So let's just clear this out. Say 
hypothetically, it's a month from now, and I go here, okay, I want to go and load that file that I saved a long time ago, and I want to see the data if it's been updated. So, like, all the, some of this data might be changed. For example, the price might change, more orders, more reviews, more hearts, things like that. So all you have to do is you can go more data, extract data for all rows, or just extract for non-extracted data if that's found inside there, or the selected or highlighted. Selected is if the row is selected, so it'll just get more data for the selected rows, meaning the checkbox is selected. And to select the row is really simple. You can either just click the checkbox or just double click anywhere in the row and it will highlight the row for you. Or you can go ahead and you can use the options up here by clicking the little checkbox, select them all, like so. But usually you'll probably just be mostly using this. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead and extract data for all the rows. And we'll go out and re-extract all the data, getting it nice and fresh for you so you can go ahead and save it again to your computer. So that's what the more data is. And you can access the more data as well from right-clicking and accessing the data here. And the more data is provided in all of the tools inside of Craft Inspector. A few other options is you can right click and you can actually search the web for all sorts of different things. So you can, it takes, for example, the if you go search Google, oops, we got that first select a column, and you can go ahead and search Google. And it takes the title and it searches Google. And of course, you can search all of the other ones listed here. In addition, you can also send the tags to the keyword generator. So now you put all the tags here, so now you can go and quickly generate keywords for each one of these inside of the keyword generator, giving you an incredible amount of keywords to look through. So it's a very powerful feature as well. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.